this is very exciting. I'm at the Battle of Aiken, and I'm talking to uh, the owner and proprietor of Heirloom Emporium, who has been doing this for 20 years, and she is going to talk about clothes, underwear, and all those sort of items that the proper uh, person from the 1860s uh, on war. So, okay. Yeah. All right. This is what you see when you see the reenactors walking around outside. They are completed with all of their outfit on, but you don't know what's underneath there. So you have to start out with a chemise, which is like oh, a women's that is beautiful. undergarment. And then over your chemise, you would wear your corset. And that would tighten up in the back, have bones in the front. You go on like that. And then your pantaloons, which are made very baggy, so they're very comfortable, but they are also crotchless. Oh, so oh, that's very interesting. Easy to wrap around mm -hmm. and just do all of your bodily functions. Yeah. There. And then you would have an under petticoat on over top of that. Oh my goodness. Then you would have your hoop, which there's a hoop under this little woman here. A hoop. And then possibly over top of your hoop, you would have an over petticoat. Over the hoop is a, is a petticoat also? Over the hoop is another petticoat, which is, um, yes. which I'm out of, isn't that, isn't that a good, isn't that a good sale space, I'm out of one. Um, and then you put that over the hoop and then you won't see the bones because you didn't want to oh, see the bones. Oh, see, there. see, I didn't know that. That yes. that really does make for a better look. So yeah. I, I have the was, uh, hoop I and then I love so my uh, horse here, uh, which is uh, very easy to wear. So, uh, how long did it take someone to get dressed? Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, that really is. Oh, 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 yeah. You don't. Oh, this is great. That is wonderful. That's what we call the attitude hat. You push that forward and. Oh. Let everyone know you have quite the attitude. Well, that was uh, appropriate for me, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So that's what I remember. They they would have certain gestures and way to communicate language. Uh, they did a lot of language to the fan and different yeah. things. Meant, you know. Oh, I love the fan language. Yeah. yeah. So so do you know about the fan language? I do know that if there's a man that comes and speaks to you and you don't want him to come back, you leave that fan closed and right. <laughs> Oh, yes. Oh, snap it close. Snap it close. That's like, get out so, of here. So what's a come hither fan of gesture? I don't remember. I think but you I think rub so. your fan alongside. Oh, oh, oh. Meaning open. you may want to may want to have him come talk to you. Oh. Isn't that open? Yeah. yeah open. Oh. Okay. How? I'm sorry. I saw that last year at Gettysburg. I'm sorry I didn't get it. It was like framed. Oh, it thing, went, like they wrote it all down in yeah. all the different oh. things. But then you have to teach the guys the answers, you know, because well, they... <laughs> yes. Did this look like the right size? Yeah, that looked really good. Oh, that is beautiful. I, I, yeah, I love that. Beautiful. So, mm. That's oh, one of the things I love are the, the clothes and the hats, the hats and everything. Hats. And, and the. Oh, well, yeah, today, especially. And that wind, my hat's not flying up yet. Oh, really? The one on each side. I tell you, oh, with the wind 70 miles an hour yesterday, it could take more than your hat off with you. <laughs> oh, that's a beautiful hat. I like that, too. Well, so uh, how long would it take someone to get dressed? Uh, well, you know, we. Um, Modern people trying to do this now would probably be a you know at least an hour, half an hour or so, yeah. and the hairdos are very complicated for that time too. Most of them. So, but if you were to do it every day, you mm -hmm. get in such a rhythm that you could probably do it in yeah. ten minutes yeah. and be out of the house. Yeah. Uh -huh. that, well, that's oh, I actually uh, thought about that. So and. Uh, uh, the cleaning part of, of some of this. So how? Uh, well, the the underpinnings that you would wear, the chemise and the mm -hmm. drawers and all that, were all usually white. You could boil those and make them very clean and put them back on, and that is the part that touched your body. Uh, so the dress didn't actually touch your body. Even this oh. dress would have a set of undersleeves on it, which would go on your arm like this, mm -hmm. and that would keep 
this against your skin and this part not against your skin. Oh. So it will keep your dress cleaner. Now these you could take off and wash. Mm -hmm. And if it were a silk dress, you know, you couldn't ever wash it. So you would just have to, yeah. you know, um, hang it out to air, you might say. So Yeah, I, I, uh, uh, I, I just think that is actually a very clever way to uh, extend the life of your clothes mm -hmm. and uh, but um, it's just amazing I, I how long I'm, I'm just thinking how long it would take someone to sew something like that and and I guess they would buy their clothes from uh, a tailor a lot of times a local tailor every town had a little tailor uh -huh. shop a lot of them sewed themselves I mean they would do all the handwork needlework everything themselves yeah and then um, Again, another dying art. You know, people just don't do that anymore. They don't even have home ec classes where they learn how to I do know. all the stitches I, and stuff. Yeah. Well, so uh, you are based in Strasburg, Virginia. Yes. And and where is that closest to? It's just south of Winchester, about 15 minutes south of Winchester, uh -huh. or three miles from the Cedar Creek battlefield. Hmm. Yeah. And uh, so, what is your? Uh, oh, that's gorgeous. So what is your, uh, of course, today your favorite reenactment is the Battle of Aiken. Of but second to that, what is your favorite? Well, we have to do Cedar Creek because I'm on the board and uh -huh. it's three miles from the store. So yeah. It's always a nice one. It's about the last one of the year. The fall mm -hmm. leaves are out. You know, a lot of people have their end of the year meetings and... You know, it's a really good feeling. Everybody's uh, happy to be together, kind of. Yeah. Like and so your website is what? It's um, heirloomemporium.com. Okay. So well, that's find good us to there. Okay. <laughs> so thank you. And we can make one of these for you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, I I like that. <laughs>